going to the fight between the angel and Yaakov, teaching us that this battle between Esav and Yaakov did not end 4,000 years ago. In fact, it's still going on and it's the ultimate war of good versus evil until this day. This is the explanation behind why Cain killed Abel. This is why Hashem allowed Abel to die because Abel wasn't alive for long enough to sin. There's an ultimate battle between Cain versus Abel. And that's in essence good versus evil. But after they die, that battle transforms into the next generation, the next generation. And there's a power of Kedusha and power of Tuma, of evil, of impurity in the world that will culminate at the end when the evil will be eliminated at the time of Mashiach. But before that, evil will have the power and only people that sanctify themselves will be able to withstand it without falling as a trap into it. So here we see that this battle was not something that ended and in fact the ultimate power of evil, say the Chachamim, say the Mekubalim, was given to Esau. The ultimate highest level of impurity in the world is in the hands of Esau, which means the father of Amalek, which means this is Christianity. This is the idolatry that started off as my brother, a fellow Jew, that strayed away from God and decided to turn himself into some idol. A person that some people call Mashiach, but in reality they mean that he's a deity called Mashiach. So the highest level of impurity, according to some of the greatest Chachamim that we have, is in the hands of Esau. This battle is still going. It's a spiritual battle nonetheless. It's not something we have to fight them with guns and knives and fists. No, it's a spiritual battle. This is why the Christian church is willing to spend every penny that it has to convert the Jews to Christianity. But yet, the Jews are not even willing to spend a single dollar to convert the Christians into Judaism. If the Christian wants to convert, they're welcome, but they have to become Jews. They have to leave the Christianity in the garbage. But they're on their own. There's no special fund to convert Christians to Judaism. You want to convert? Welcome. Why? Because again, this is a spiritual battle. If you've left the church, you have to prove it by abandoning everything and sacrificing everything for the sake of the truth. There's no way that we would know that you're willing to do that if there's a special fund and a promotion to proselytize everyone. Certainly, we should help converts that are genuine once they've shown, once they've proven that they're genuine and real, after they convert. But beforehand, you're very limited with what you can do. Why? Because there is a spiritual battle. There is a spiritual battle. Now the church, on the other hand, they're willing to spend every single penny to recruit a Jew to say that he believes in Yoshke. Let me know uh, what you think and make sure to share it because other people need to learn too.